Dear learners, greetings. In this part of the diuretic lecture, we will discuss about the next class of uh, the uh, diuretic drug that is the thiazides. We will see the mechanism of action in short. Thereafter, we will discuss about the at the end of this lecture, uh, you will be able to know the synthesis of uh, this thiazide, IUPAC name of this uh, chlorothiazide and then a uh, few parts of uh, the SAR that is structural activity relationship uh, and at the end we will see the usage of this thiazide. So let us begin with the first part that is the mechanism of action. Now as you see here the mechanism of action of thiazide diuretics are in the distal convoluted tubules in the distal convoluted. Now see this green part what you are seeing this particular green part is this this part this green part this green part is nothing but the loop of Henle ascending part of the loop of Henle this is the ascending part of the loop of Henle this is ascending part of the loop of Henle the thick portion the thick portion in the nephron loop of Henle is there and in the new loop of Henle ascending loop of Henle and in that ascending loop of Henle the thicker part is this particular part and this at this particular uh, part is actually what is happening this is the lumen where the urine is there understand this here is the blood that is the interstitial uh, space and this is the tubular cell of the ascending loop of Henle the thicker part right now what is happening is from the lumen the sodium and the chlorine they are reabsorbed and as they are reabsorbed, the, the water and uh, water is also reabsorbed. Understand? But what is happening? This thiazide diuretics, this thiazide diuretics, what they are doing? They are blocking this uh, process of uh, uh, sodium and chlorine reabsorption. Now, as the sodium and chlorine reabsorption is hampered. So what will happen? The concentration there will be the increased level of sodium and chlorine in the lumen. Now as there is the increased level of sodium you know that there will be the hypertonic solution then. So to maintain the tonicity, isotonic balance, to maintain the acid base balance what will happen? The water whatever is present in the lumen this water reuptake i mean the water reabsorption will not take place this water will be excreted along with the sodium and chlorine so what has happened that as the sodium and chlorine reabsorption channel is blocked because of this thiazide diuretics in the thicker portion of ascending part of loop of Henle, the sodium concentration, chlorine concentration in the lumen increases and to excrete this sodium and chlorine, the large amount of water will also remain in the lumen. This water will not be reabsorbed in the interstitial part through the cell of, cell of the uh, tube, nephron, ultimately leads to the loss of water or there will be the excretion of large amount of water. So this is what the mechanism for uh, thiazide diuretic. This thiazide are basically what they are. These are nothing but the benzothiazine. Benzo is this benzene ring. Check here. This is your benzene ring. And this is, related, this is connected to what? Thiadiazine. Thia sulfur di two azine nitrogen one nitrogen second nitrogen. So what is it? It's a benzo thia diazine and at the dioxide. This is dioxide. Two oxygens are connected to our sulfur group. So this is dioxide. Understand? So all these thiazides are what benzo thia diazine derivatives. You got that this is what and at the sixth position the chlorine atom uh, is there so that the IUPAC name for this chlorothiazide 
be 6 chloro 2h 124 benzothiazine and at the seventh position it's a sulfonal 7 sulfona mid 11 dioxide isn't it so this is what the your iupac nomenclature now while going for the synthesis what is the basic requirement is now you know this now this part is what this part is benzene now if one nh2 group is attached to benzene that would be your aniline and at 1 2 3 at the third position chlorine is attached so that is a 3 chloro aniline so 3 chloro aniline is going to react with the chlorosulfonic acid chlorosulfonic acid see this is SO2OH. Actually, if here it is OH, that would be the sulfonic acid. Now, instead of this OH, we are using chlorine. So this is the chlorosulfonic acid. Now, see in this part, what it is? Here is one proton. Here is again one proton. You know this. Now, this chlorine and this H will be removed as minus HCl. Are, are you getting me? this is one part now this won't be happening why because we require this particular chlorine now what will be happening you know now here one proton is there and here one proton is there understand so what is going to happen we are going to use two molecules of chlorosulfonic acid now while i'm using chlorosulfonic acid this oh and h will be removed and this h and this o this will be removed so my what is happening two water molecules will be lost and this so2cl this part will be replaced the proton will be removed in the form of water and the replacement reaction will be taking place okay so that the substitution will be taking place substituted so this sulfonyl chlorine will be substituted at the place of proton so2cl similarly here also this is not carbon this is so2cl so this would be your 3 chloroaniline 2 i mean this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this is 3 chloroaniline 4 6 di sulfonyl chloride understand so once we get this then the amidation will be taking place in presence of ammonia what is going to happen that i'll write ammonia like this nh2 and one proton so this proton and this cl so here it is minus hcl and you will get what so2 nh2 sulfamide sulfa sulfan sulfamide group will be there isn't it so similarly here also this sulfonamide group will be generated understand so this will be your 3 this is 3 3 chloroaniline 4 6 di sulfonamide will be there now once we get this di sulfonamide the next part is what we have to get this final compound as a chlorothiazide understand so chlorine is there now no problem what is the difference now the cyclization has to take place now for cyclization reaction we are using formic acid we are hitting it with in the presence of formic acid i'll write the formic acid here only so that you will be in a position to understand see this is c double bond o okay and this is c double bond o oh and h are there so i'll put here oh and here one h so uh, the same thing i have written that is the formic acid now for cyclization reaction what what will happen the this nh2 i mean so2 nh2 so that s is there and h is there so one proton is not there so what will happen this h and this o oh. so that will be removed as water and so that this sulfur will get connected to the i mean uh, the this uh, nitrogen will get connected to this carbon got that and from here from this side what will happen this h2o this water molecule will be removed that is a two water molecule will be removed and what happened this nitrogen is going to get attached to this particular carbon so in this way what has been done is the cyclization 
will take place and you will get the chlorothiazide. So that is the three chloroaniline react with the two molecules of chlorosulfonic acid. Two water molecules will be lost to get the disulfonyl chloride and the amidation in presence of ammonia will give the disulfonamide and this uh, disulfonamide, I mean disulfonyl chloride will convert into disulfonamide and then uh, it is heated in presence of uh, formic acid, cyclization will be taking place and you will get the chlorothiazide as your final compound. This is what the synthesis of chlorothiazide. Now if you look at the uh, structural activity relationship of uh, uh, this thiazide di diuretics, so practically no diuretic activity is possible in case see that the if at this particular 6 carbon you remember this okay so negligible activity of diuretic activity will be observed if the hydrogen is present at the 6th position so that this 6th position has been replaced to be chlorine or something understand so that the chlorothiazide there is no a proton at the 6th position, there is the chlorine at the 6th position. So substitution with the chloro group or substitution with the trifluoromethyl group at this particular C6 are very important for this type of uh, activity, diuretic activity. Even the CF3, CF3 moiety renders the resulting diuretic compound more lipid soluble and also with much longer duration of the action in comparison with the chloro substitution. Understand means what? So at the sixth position, you know that there should be Cl for the chlorothiazide. Instead of this, if I put CF3, okay, so what will happen if I am putting as a CF3? Lipid solubility increases, so longer duration of action is possible compared with the chlorine derivative. The presence of electron releasing moiety, electron releasing moiety, which are the electron releasing moiety, say methyl group, understand, say in case there is a methyl group or methoxy group, so these are what, these are the electron releasing uh, moiety, so what they will do, they will reduce the activity, please understand, if at the sixth position electron releasing groups are attached, then there the activity will be reduced but if it is cf3 is there chlorine is there understand the trifluoromethyl group uh, is there so what will be happening electron withdrawing uh, activity i mean group so that the activity will be uh, more comparison to the last one understand the removal or the replacement of this uh, at the seventh position what is there the your sulfonamide group is there so, if this sulfonamide group is removed, then there will be almost no diuretic activity. Means what? For the sulfonamide, I mean for the diuretics to have its activity, especially thiazide, at the 7th position, these sulfonamides are essential. Saturation of the double bond between the 3rd and 4th, see this, at the 3rd and 4th there is a double bond. Now saturation of the double the bond will give rise to the corresponding 3,4 dihydro means at this position also one proton, at this position also one proton. Understand? So this 3,4 dihydro structural uh, analog observed to have nearly 10 times more diuretic activity than the unsaturated one. Means what? At the third and fourth chlorothiazide there is double bond. If this double bond we are making it saturated, understand 3 4 dihydro derivative, then what will happen? The activity is tenfold increasing. Understand? And now, you, this, this part also you know, if the lipophilic functional moiety at C3 position, then the pronounced enhancement in the activity means what? At the third position, instead of this proton, if you are going to add certain lipophilic group like we have done, we have seen in case of 6th position. If we are adding lipophilic group like CF3, isn't it? So if we are adding the lipophilic group at the 3rd position, what will happen? The diuretic potency will be enhanced, there will be increase. 
understand so aryl alkyl acid even the halo alkyls are there or thioethers are there so these substitutions are what these are the lipid solubility will be enhanced and ultimately there will be the more activity of the uh, lipophilicity will be more alkyl substitution on the n2 position this is the n2 position if some alkyl uh, substitution uh, is done then it will lower the polarity and ultimately the enhancing the duration of the uh, your diuretic action means what if at the second position of nitrogen the alkyl groups are attached in that case what will happen the lowers the polarity as the polarity will be lower lipophilicity will be increased means what ultimately the uh, duration of the action will be more so ultimately what uh, i just wanted you to understand uh, from this entire uh, uh, sar is at the sixth position proton will not give any sort of activity but instead of this if this six, this, this six uh, proton is replaced with cf3 or cl like these group then the activity will be more if the cf3 group is attached so there will be the more lipophilicity and it will give the tenfold more activity at this position electron releasing group like methyl or methoxy groups are attached then the activity will be uh, reduced this sulfonamide group at the seventh position is essential for the activity at third and fourth position actually the double bond is there but if we make it saturate then the activity will be increased even at the third position instead of this proton if we are adding some lipophilic groups then the activity uh, enhanced at the second position instead of nitrogen if we are having some alkyl derivative then the uh, polarity will be decreased the lipophilicity will be and the diuretic activity will be more so this is uh, the entire sar of uh, structure activity relationship of uh, thiazide diuretics understand so uh, the, you understand the mechanism used and sar along with the synthesis of chlorothiazide thank you